fellow Tiger Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks and today we are back in Object 279E yes tier 10 Russian heavy tank and I gotta tell you guys I'm getting used to this tank I'm getting used to this tank and uh, excessive heat spam uh, it is what it is you know I'm not gonna brag about it no more I've actually played quite a few battles in this tank since I posted the video on this which was quite critical I still think this tank is really hard to pen if you know how to play it and if you know how to play it you basically raise your nose up like you saw in my clip at the beginning of the video if you lift your nose up nothing can really touch you not even a tank destroyer because that slope that you create good luck for anyone penning you so if you fight in a city brawl in a city i suggest you find a nice rebel pile where you can actually lift your nose a little or maybe some imperfection in the ground that you can lift it up sort of kind of like that and then, then you'll be perfectly fine but when i started playing this tank i didn't play it right i kind of uh i was a little bit too passive initially uh, the first week or so when i played it but with this tank you just have to go straight into the battle straight into the brawling area straight into the brawling alley whatever brawling is wherever you think most of the enemy tanks are going to show up this is where you got to take this tank because that's what this tank is good at and that's when you go and rack up the damage only then now obviously if opposition knows how to shoot you where to pen you um then it's not going to be so easy especially if you're on a flat ground like this you can be easily penned in the top of the front hall with heat those view ports in that area close to the turret you should be able to easily penetrate with heat so beware of that again in the clip at the beginning of the video you saw me penning another object 279 right in that area where the viewports are right on top of the front hall anyway let's get back into this game as you can see we came up here on map berlin into the brawling area this is normally where brawling happens and with this tank it's always good to have a few friendlies with you just like in any you know any other match you don't want to go alone because once you get flanked in this tank obviously you'll die so you want to keep front up to the opposition and yeah load your heat rounds if you see tough armor and you know chew them down right at this point in time i didn't have to load my heat rounds yet so i was basically mostly firing my AP rounds but in a split second here because I'll be facing object 279s I will need to switch to heat there we go the A button in action we go to heat right now and we're gonna just go straight up at these guys now when you played this tank and uh, what I realized is you can angle it slightly if you poke out from behind the buildings if you just poke out the way I do now that only a little bit of the front hall or front end is visible it will be really hard to pen but if you pull out too much then you will overexpose your flat portion of your top plate and you can be easily penned with heat over there but as you can see I have a lot of shots over here these guys are not paying attention to me mostly paying attention to my friendlies so I'm basically picking and choosing the easiest shots at this point in time and once the easy shots are gone, then I'm gonna have to try to engage those object 279s in a flat portion. As you can see, I pinned that one there, right in a flat portion. Upper area of the front hall. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Unfortunately, that shot went a little bit um, to the right. I fired it a little bit too late, and that's why it hit that angle portion and it did not pen. So we're gonna try to do the same thing here, aiming at that flat portion right there and usually you should be able to pan it you know probably you know 70 80 percent of time with heat rounds so that's what i'm doing here anyway as you can see um the match is fairly quick all of the opposition is on this side of the map and they came to brawl but for whatever reason um it looks like mm, probably not the best players our team is completely gonna run them over and at the same time i'm just gonna feast on these guys like there is no tomorrow as you can see i'm already sitting at what over 5k damage and we're gonna finish it up we're gonna take this bad shot out of the game actually i have no idea what that guy was doing there coming to the brawling area like everybody else so the last guy left here is the object 705 we're gonna place our frontal armor 
towards him and we're gonna put one more shell into his upper plate and that concludes a game that was very very fast as you can see if you get yourself in a brawling area where there's a lot of heavies then you can actually do some damage one thing you have to be careful is not to face too many tank destroyers because they will pen you with heat even through the turret so you got to be mindful of that anyway we had a nice feast in this game as you can see uh, we ran over the opposing team pretty quick we managed to put up 6.1k damage good enough for class one with uh, almost 4k blocked and you'll see uh, you'll have a lot of games where you block quite a bit of damage in this tank so anyway yeah very good result very fast game and again if you want to win the game you have to take this tank right into the brawling area because if you don't take this tank there then obviously you will lose the game because you're basically uh, making your team weak on that particular flank anyway let's skip to the second game that i have for you guys today two games only uh, both class ones unfortunately i wasn't able to get an ace tanker in this tank yet and that's probably because people are putting ridiculous amounts of damage in this tank i actually saw with my own eyes uh, i was in the game with another guy that put up 8k damage in this tank quite easily so yeah people are putting ridiculous amounts of damage in this tank especially first couple days when this tank was released a lot of good players played this tank so anyway we are on map icebound now i don't really like this map that much uh, but for this tank actually it's not really a bad thing because on this map pretty much everyone goes right in the middle and brawls so that's what we're gonna do over here we're gonna get ourselves right into the middle i just want to make sure i have some help with me so i'm rolling together with some of these heavy tanks here so i have support in case we run into you know a lot of opposition tanks but yeah we're gonna follow these guys object 705 is with me object 705a is with me so we have a lot of armor here which is great and see what we can run into so usually i go on the left side of this map as you can see there's a lot of tanks on the left side but because i know usually um the opposition likes to come from this side of the of the map so I decided to roll with a couple of my heavy tanks because I want to go to where the fight is, right? I want to put this tank in a position where I can actually use the armor and start brawling. So as you can see, we spot this lever over there. But uh, yeah, I'm being cautious because he can fire at me from there. We don't have support from that side. So we're going to scoot right into the middle of the map because we see that's where the opposition forces are. So we're going to try to engage this object 705. For now, we're going to keep our standard rounds loaded. We're gonna see if we can put some damage and this is what standard rounds are good at you can actually track people and pen them at the same time which with heat is not always the case so as you can see we have quite a few shots presenting ourselves here we see sides of tanks that we can put shots in now we see this type 4 heavy his side fully exposed so we should be able to put a shell into him here yeah we don't need heat for that and yeah this position actually seems pretty good for now oh this guy's looking at me i really don't want to get hit by that guy you know he would damage me severely take a lot of hp from me so last thing i want to do is look at him anyway object 705 a fire so we're gonna try to put a shot into his bottom plate probably i had an easier shot at type 4 over there but i went for the bottom plate of object 705a uh, not sure why i did that but now we're gonna switch to heat because we want to make sure we're penetrating those shots especially against 705 so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wait it out a little bit here at the same time we see this t-123 his side so we're gonna put a shell into him and and look what tank destroyers can do to you take a look at this i'm not gonna overexpose in this tank at all he just saw a little bit of my turret and he managed to pen me he's obviously shooting prems and I tried to hit his capola unfortunately that shot misses and like I said this tank at long distance will not be able to you know it just doesn't have good accuracy so don't shoot at long distance try to get yourself as close as possible as with any other Russian heavy tank anyway we see this E75 showing us his side we're gonna put a shell into him as you notice there i did not go for his track because i wanted a damaging hit i 
didn't know whether a heat shell is gonna pen him through the track that was the reason for that um, I was looking at E3 there but he was running away so I didn't have any shots at him at this point I'm just judging should I push forward here or should I not I know these tank destroyers on the left they pushed a little bit further I'm a bit worried about this E3 I'm gonna try to take a shot at him again I don't know whether that was his front or his back and it appears that it was his front so I couldn't pen him but now it's a good opportunity to move up since my type 4 or type 5 on the left side is actually engaging so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna move forward and we're gonna try to engage these guys here so let's see what we can find we definitely have this 705a we're gonna take him out of the game that's the priority now that he's out of the game we're gonna try to push forward here as you can see the enemy retreated from this area and they decided to go around to the other side another you know heavy tank right there type 4 so we kind of uh, put a shell into him and he gets taken out and as you can see like people have trouble penning this tank especially if you don't load heat rounds then yeah you're gonna have hell of a time trying to pen it as you can see this Wheezy 120 has hell of a time penning me I don't remember what the penetration is on Wheezy even on heat rounds and I'm not sure if he would even be able to pen me but regardless we're gonna dispatch of him quite quickly here again uh, making sure that front of my tank is facing forward towards him don't want to over angle there we take him out of the game and we're gonna move forward so we're gonna look for our next customer and our next customer is probably gonna be the E75 that's over here so he is paying attention to us but we're gonna put a shell into his bottom plate first right there and I didn't know he was gonna rush me here but he is rushing me so I want to draw some distance I want to be able to put a shell into his bottom plate he doesn't pen me at the same time that shot bounces probably the angle angle once he was that close to me that angle on the bottom plate was too steep and that bounced but we're gonna put a shell into his cheek and we take him out of the game at the same time the tier 9 waffle was looking at me here but he didn't have a shot luckily so we put a shot we snap a shot into him right there and at this point in time this game should come to a close we're winning it comfortably we were losing it a little bit earlier but we managed to pull back and at this point in time there are only two tanks left one is the machine and the other one is fb4202 so we're going to try to track him down and see if we can get a little bit more damage as you can see we're already sitting at over 5,000 damage with over 3,000 block and like i said with this tank you're going to block a lot of damage usually about 3 to 4k if you know how to play it correctly or if the opposition doesn't know how to penetrate you and in this case because Wheezy uh, didn't know how to penetrate me I didn't even have to raise my nose up so yeah anyway we're gonna try to chase these guys down I've loaded AP round here because I should be able to pen these guys without using heat so we're gonna try to do that uh, that machine right there he's the only guy left right now but he's full health so I was thinking at this point in time man if we can get a little bit more damage here we'll have a heck of a game so we're gonna line up a shot over here we're gonna put a shell into him but we just draw a critical and someone else hits him lights him on fire and we're gonna do exact same thing again here we're gonna put a shell into him but it wasn't I thought actually I thought I let him on fire there but it wasn't me it was somebody else so unfortunately I only get what 400 damage out of this whole um, encounter unfortunately so regardless it is what it is we could have brought this game over 6k but it wasn't meant to be anyway let's take a look at the end plates and see how we did now so we managed to put up 5.4k damage almost 5.5 we made only 286 credits because we fired some premium rounds and be prepared to lose credits in this tank because you will fire heat rounds quite often especially facing uh, you know other object 79s anyway class one game pretty good we finished with 1500 base xp we had three kills 5.4k damage seven medals we fired 
20 shots, we had 19 direct hits and 14 penetrations. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. Until next time, happy tanking, Space Bandit, checking out.